Dozens of military families are living in hotel rooms in Virginia because of a mold crisis on their base. A crisis that's been going on for a long time. CNN's Deborah Fayrick investigates. Norfolk Naval Base in Virginia is the largest in the world, home to the U.S. Atlantic Fleet. But it's facing a crisis. I'm, in essence, combating a war on two fronts. I don't feel safe in these houses. I've never no. not felt safe in a house. A crisis that has turned dozens of military families, their children and pets into virtual refugees, holed up in cramped hotel rooms for weeks at a time. They call this hotel wing the mold wing. She was hospitalized. Displaced families who tell us they or their kids are sick after living in rotting homes and being exposed in some cases to unhealthy levels of mold. Jaro Bliss runs Lincoln Military Housing, a private company that took over Navy family housing seven years ago. Under the terms of the contract, within a two-year period, all homes were supposed to be brought up to a suitable level. Was that done, in your opinion? And by suitable, I mean all of them livable. Yes, I believe it was under the terms of our agreement with the Navy. Yet military spouses we spoke with tell a very different story. The second story was sinking into the first. A story of decaying homes and well-meaning but incompetent maintenance people. Is it fair to say that Lincoln was simply fixing the same problem over and over and over again. It's almost kind of like they just put lipstick on a pig. It's still a pig. Lincoln knew it was inheriting hundreds of older, poorly built homes. I understand why some of the families are frustrated in this, in this issue. I'd be frustrated too with some of the things that went on. At an emergency town hall meeting, U.S. Senator Mark Warner, who himself has a daughter with asthma, listened in disbelief. It's been 20 years in business, and I built it. This is not a way to run a business. What struck me was, here were these Navy spouses with their husbands deployed defending our country and they were living in substandard housing. I mean, this is not how we should be treating the families of the guys who are defending our country. When Lincoln tried to defend itself with its own test results suggesting no mold was present, Senator Mark Warner demanded Lincoln fire its mold inspectors telling the Navy to step in and do its job overseeing its public-private partnership with Lincoln. Many of the families feel that the Navy dropped the ball when it came to oversight. Do you think that's a fair description? I think the Navy, if they didn't drop the ball, they took their eye off the ball. Lincoln representatives were denying there was a problem. The Navy was denying there was a problem. Now all of a sudden there's been a 180 degree reversal and you guys are now acting on it. Well, we've, we've made mistakes, and we're, we're not happy about what happened here. One of our lessons learned has been in this particular partnership and for the time being that we need to increase the amount of oversight that we provide sort of at the deck plate level. Okay. Homes are now being patched. Okay. Almost 90 have now been remediated for mold. Lincoln and the Navy are not doing this out of the goodness of their heart. They're doing it because they caught. They got caught. 